I love porch photography because it's so fun. So I was just wondering, how could I up my game? Hey, you. What's up? Hope you're having an awesome day today. If you haven't followed me on Instagram at Heyos underscore person, then definitely do that because if you do that, you can send me a video of you asking your question and then I can answer it on videos like today. So it's like a face-to-face -face kind of interaction. So let's get into it. Hey, Aiden, hope you're having an awesome day. You uh, too, man. You featured me on your last video and I was just wondering if you wanted to do a collab and maybe shoot in Melbourne since I live pretty close. So when my schedule starts to slow down and I'm actually like not really traveling as much and I'm in Melbourne a lot more, that's when we can like get together and do something. But yeah, 100%. Like I'm always down to work with like-minded people. Have you Ever tried any other camera brands other than Nikon? If so, what do you think of them? You obviously haven't watched many of my videos. <laughs> like, I pretty much only shoot on Sony now, and it's like the best decision I've ever made. Hey, what's up? Greetings, Hayden, all what's the up, way man? from Illinois, Illinois. In America. Anyway, my questions for QA Wednesday are How old are you? Where do you see yourself in five years? And do you believe in God? Thanks for answering. I am 22 years old. In five years time, I'll be pushing the same message, which is like getting people to like go out and like just be inspired to live the best lives that they can, like the lives that they truly want to live despite what anyone else thinks. That's my message. I will always be pushing that. Um, I just don't know how I'll do it. And let's be honest, like in five years time, I'll probably still be on YouTube because I freaking love YouTube. Do I believe in God? This is a really interesting question. Okay, so my family, we're Catholic. I don't believe in like some guy that's like a, it's got like a white beard and everything like that. I, I don't believe in like that traditional kind of God, but I do believe in something external. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like our reality is just too much of like a miracle for us to be here just by chance, whether you want to call it a God or whatever, just something like a, a, a higher power, if if that makes sense. My name's Sam, I love doing photography. What's up, Sam? But the thing is like, I work five days a week and then actually two days off. I don't have anyone to do photography with and it kind of sucks because it's kind of boring. You can only do a certain amount of landscapes by yourself. It all comes down to priorities. If you want to like do photography, you will make the time. Like get up earlier, shoot at sunrise and you have two extra days on the weekend. So you can go out and do it. Like there's always time to do things. You just have to make the time. If you only get enjoyment out of doing like photography and stuff when you're only with other people, I think that you should use people as a bonus. Like that that's just a bonus on top of like your passion in photography. You also need to not have such high expectations. Like it's not always going to be like super fun and glamorous. That's just not realistic. You're never going to find something that is always, always fun and really just exciting to do. You have to have like the boring and like the mundane stuff to appreciate the good times. So it's all about just going out and doing it, no matter how you're feeling, having fun with it in whatever situation you're in. I love porch photography because it's so fun. So I was just wondering, how could I up my game? I'll give you two quick tips. The first thing would be to invest in a new lens by getting something that where you can have an aperture of like f1.8, f1.4 or something. If you can get like an 85 mil f1.4, that is like the ultimate portrait lens. Even like a 55 mil f1.8 or something. Anything where you can have the aperture really low because when you can open up the aperture like that, it allows you to have a short depth of field. And when you have a short depth of field, it means that you can have that blurry background, blurry foreground and have that the isolated subject like really like in focus and sharp. Second thing would be like, don't take it seriously at all. Get them to move around. Maybe if you're used to doing like serious portraits, maybe get them to like be energetic, jump around and stuff, get some movement going. My favorite kind of photography is doing particle photography. So if I get some water or like some leaves or something and then like I get the model to like spray it around. I think you should focus more on the kind of emotions that you can evoke from a, from a photo that you take to your audience or to the people that you want to show the photo to. So if you want to make people happy by looking at your photos, maybe get your your model to like laugh or something, like say something funny to them. It can be like awkward at the start, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. So just go out, think in different ways, flip it on its head, try and just be as creative as possible. That's the greatest advice I could give you for any kind of photography, really. Hey, Hayden. Hey. If you were given the opportunity to shoot with, let's say, National Geographic, and, but they said you had to give up your YouTube career, would you, would you give it up? No, oh my God, no chance would I ever 
Give up my YouTube career for National Geographic? What do you mean? Nah, it's like, I completely get where you're coming from. Like it comes down to like the individual person. If I cared more about like doing like more professional, whatever you want to like define that as, professional stuff with other crews and stuff like that. And yeah, like probably. But the thing is, I love YouTube, not only because of like the amazing community that we have and we bring people together and we inspire people. We get people out creating and doing what they want to do, facing their fears and taking risks in life. That is like, that's the reason why I do it. But also the reason why I do it is also because I can express myself. I can do whatever I want. If I wanted to do a backflip, right now on camera. I could. I won't do that because I can't do a backflip and I would land on my neck and then like I'll be a, a, a para, paraplegerino as uh, Ned Flanders would say. I, I just love like connecting with people and that's something that I just would never be able to do if I did stuff for like National Geographic or something. I do like have plans of maybe like making my own documentary on other people in the future. But right now I am super happy just doing what I'm doing. I would never give up what I'm doing for anything. What's up, Aiden? What's up, man? You already know that the entire Aiden gang loves the work that you do. But my question is, as a photographer, how do you produce mass content? For context, I mainly put mine on Instagram and Snapchat. I upload onto Instagram and then there's like a little box thing because my Instagram account is made like business. You can make your account business, a business account as well. Um, if you do that, you can click like a, a swipe to the side thing, like where you can like post it on Facebook or share it to like Twitter, like when you go to post on Instagram. So it's easy. You don't even need to go on Facebook for it to post on Facebook. The more social media platforms that you post your content to, like it might not get as many views or likes or anything, but that's not what it's about. It's about like, putting your stuff out there as much as you can so that m more people have the opportunity to be able to view your work. G'day Hayden, hope you're having an awesome day today. You too. Uh, anyway, just got myself a new drone, uh, but my question is, what's the craziest place you've ever flown a drone? A few of my friends, we ended up going out to this abandoned factory. I ended up getting some establishing shots of the place and it was this humongous factory. like. I'm pretty sure they actually demolished it like a few like weeks ago. Super happy I have a vlog there because like I have footage of it now. But I flew the, the drone around like these chimneys and stuff. It was this super like post-apocalyptic kind of vibe. I ended up flying it over the chimney. If it cut out or dropped out of the sky or whatever, it would have dropped literally straight down a chimney and I don't know what is down in that chimney. Like it could have just... I don't know. And it's Anthony from Boston. I just want to know how you learned how to edit videos and how you found your style. Going out and doing it. And then like, if you want to learn a certain thing that you can't like learn by just doing it, then like, yeah, the internet is like your best resource. I've definitely put in over, way over like 10,000 hours of editing, video editing. You don't find your style, your, your style finds you. And that sounds really cliche to say that, but like the more you do it, the more you kind of figure out your style. Like you can't start off being a good video editor and you can't start off having like this really cool, distinct style. Like, well, I, actually I can't say that because that's just my experience. But from my experience, I think the best thing to do is just going out and doing it and then you figure it out on the way. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram at hados underscore Pedersen, then definitely do that so you can like be on the videos like today, you know, and we can hang out and just chill out and whatever. Anyway. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.